dear all welcome so the next topic which we are going to discuss is about uh, a particle in a box so in the last lecture we have derived about uh, the schrodinger's wave equation time independent and time dependent wave equation and in today's class we are going to apply this schrodinger's wave equation to find out the wave function of a particle in a one dimensional box to begin with let us assume a particle that is an electron of mass m which is enclosed in a one dimensional potential box with length l so we will take an electron and we will assume that it has been confined in a one dimensional box and this box has the length of l and this electron will be freely moving along the x axis the wall of the box are of infinite potential and the electrons do not penetrate outside the box so this electron is confined within the box and it will not penetrate outside the box so this is the assumption so capital v at the wall or outside the wall is infinite and similarly the electron is confined inside the box hence the potential energy inside the box is constant or the capital v inside the box is zero so this is these are all the uh, assumption of this uh, uh, thought experiment and uh, the boundary condition for this experiment is capital v that is potential energy is equal to zero when the electrons is present inside the box of length l and capital v is equal to infinite when the electrons is present outside the box so our aim is our aim of this experiment is we have to find out what is the wave function of the electron inside the box and uh, the wave function outside the box will be zero because the electrons cannot penetrate outside the box this is the assumption now in order to find out what is the wave function inside the box let us consider the schrodinger's time independent wave equation what uh, we have derived in the last lecture we have dou square psi by dou x square plus 2m by h cross square into capital e minus capital v into psi is equal to 0 let us consider this schrodinger's time independent wave equation as equation number 1 and in this equation and uh, in the present scenario we have capital V that is equal to 0 because the potential energy of the electron inside the box is 0 and hence equation 1 can be rewritten as dou square psi by dou square psi by dou x square plus 2m by h cross square into e psi is equal to 0 since the capital V term becomes 0 so we can read it as dou square psi by dou x square plus k, squ k square psi is equal to 0 where cap k square is constant which is given as 2 m e divided by h cross square the this equation number 2 is actually the uh, second order differential e equation and it should have two arbitrary constants and in order to find out the solution for this equation number 2 we have psi of x is equal to a sin kx plus b cos kx so we will consider this as equation number 3 where a and b are arbitrary constants now we have to apply the boundary condition for this present scenario so the first condition is at x is equal to 0 so we will take the boundary condition at x is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 there is no chance of finding the electron or the particle at the wall of the box since we have assumed that the electron is confined within the box there is no chance of finding the electron at the wall of the box and hence the wave function psi of x is equal to 0 and let us substitute it in equation number 3 what we have obtained in the previous slide that is psi of x is equal to a sin kx plus b cos kx let us substitute psi of x is equal to 0 and also x is equal to 0 in this equation so we have 0 is equal to a sin 0 plus b cos 0 and we all know sin 0 is 0 and cos 0 is 1 and hence we can write 
the above equation as capital B is equal to 0 and we will consider this as equation number 4. Now let us consider the second kind of boundary condition that is x is equal to L. So in previous case we have x is equal to 0 and in the second boundary condition we will consider it as x is equal to L. So at this condition once again the uh, there is no chance of finding the electron or the particle at the walls of the box and uh, we have capital V that is equal to infinite. Hence psi of x is equal to 0 and we will substitute these terms in equation number 3. So uh, we have 0 is equal to a sin kl because uh, instead of x we have l plus b cos kl that is equal to 0 because psi of x is equal to 0. And uh, by equation number 4 we have already obtained that capital B is equal to 0 hence we have a sin kl that is equal to 0 since capital B is equal to 0 and uh, capital A is actually a constant term which cannot be a 0 hence we can uh, consider that sin kl is equal to 0 since ca capital A cannot be 0. In lower class we have studied that sin n pi that is all that will be always 0 that is a sign of 1 pi 2 pi 3 pi uh, and uh, this values of sign product of n and pi will be 0. So by comparing this equation number 5 and equation number 6 that is uh, sin kl that is equal to sin n pi we have k that is equal to n pi by l and we will consider it as equation number 7. So using the uh, known terms that is uh, equation number 6 capital B is equal to 0 and equation number 7 small k is equal to n pi by l we can substitute this known terms in the equation number 3 that is psi of x is equal to a sin kx plus b cos kx. So finally we have the wave function of the electron which is confined inside the box. So let us start. So we will substitute b is equal to 0 over here and uh, instead of uh, k we will substitute n pi by l. So finally we have the wave function of the electron confined in the box psi of x is equal to a sin n pi x by l and the next term capital B becomes 0.